Welcome to Utah. Since Land Rover launched the Discovery in 1989, they sold more than 1.2 million cars worldwide. Today we're here to drive the brand new one, a completely new car. And now let's see how it drives. The most obviously radical change in the new Discovery is clearly its aesthetic design. The sharp edges have disappeared. Instead, the almost 5 meter long over 2 meter wide SUV offers a smooth flowing lines. The interior is also much more modern and high quality. The instruments and controls reference those of the Range Rover family. Put together, the interior suggests first quality materials and workmanship. I really like the optional third row seating in the Discovery. Amazingly, there's more than enough room for an adult in all seven seats. Seat configuration is extremely flexible and can even be operated from your smartphone. As you might expect from such a large SUV, there's plenty of room for luggage. The maximum load the seven-seater will take is now over 2,400 liters. When it comes to driving comfort, the new Discovery has improved noticeably. We've been on the road for a while with the new Discovery now, and to be really honest, the car drives really well. It's so comfortable. It's a lot better there than the predecessor. Now we're off-road, and we'll have a look if it keeps its promises here. At the moment, we're driving on a path in the middle of nowhere, and this is mostly very dry sand and the Discovery drives through it like there's nothing and I think that's not only because of the four-wheel drive that's also because we do have more than 28 centimeters of ground clearance. However, real off-road challenges follow at the end of this route my first thought when we entered the park was, oh well, never mind. But it can happen now and then. I was not only wrong, but also amazed by just how easy the Land Rover made everything look. After this challenge, the sand dunes almost looked too simple but you should not underestimate this terrain. Land Rover now offers a 4-liter, 2-liter diesel engine for the Discovery that produces either 180 up to 240 brake horsepower. Of course, we still do have the V6 engines. With the diesel, this is a 3-litre V6 that offers 258 horsepower. And we have the Patra, also V6 3-litre, with 340 brake horsepower. You can drive this car nowadays with the four cylinders because the car loses so much weight. The structure of a car features 85% alloy, and this reduces the weight of the car by 480 kg. And that makes this engine feasible. We've worked incredibly hard to improve on-road refinement, but also retain all of that off-road capability that we're renowned for at Land Rover. We've got 900 millimeters of wading depth, 500 millimeters of articulation, and all of our latest off-road technology in the car. What I'm really proud of, we've done all of that, and the car is a massive step forward on on-road refinement and comfort as well. We like to think of our new Discovery as the digital Discovery, because we've packed it full of useful technology for everyday usage as well. We've got our in-control touch pro navigation system. We've got our in-control apps that you can use with the car as well. I can actually start my car or heat it up at my home back in the UK from here in Utah. You can put your route in on your smartphone whilst you're having a coffee in the morning and it automatically transfer to the car. But also we've got our latest uh, active safety technology in the car to make it the perfect family car.
That was our review here from Utah with a brand new Land Rover Discovery. To be really honest, I think there will be some arguments, some discussions about how it looks today, because the old one was a lot more boxy and a lot more rough. But I think this not only looks more fresh, it also gives great advantages regarding to aerodynamics. It also offers all the good stuff we already know and love from its predecessor. On top of this, it is a lot more modern and more comfortable. For me, a real Land Rover.